Hey everybody, um, I'm Malco. You can also call me Brianne. And for this video, I just wanted to do a little bit of an update of um, the pack my frog uh, my boyfriend and I got. And as you can tell from the thumbnail, that it's not going to be a happy video. And <laughs> yeah, I just kind of wanted to, to give like a, a kind of a quick update of what what happened and yeah so let's get into that so how we how I found Chomp was that I was coming home I came home from work and when I come home from work because I I work in the evenings um, so when I come home I missed all the animals that um, are nocturnal and so that includes Chomps. I make sure Chomps' cage is um, moist and the Crested Gecko's cage is pretty wet as well. And Chomp is normally really active during the night. Like I'll see him out and about, he's alert. Um, and then, so I was going to feed him because I haven't fed him um, for the past two days. So I get the crickets ready and then I look inside the cage and his eyes look like they're closed. And they, they, they're they more so like, if, you ever, if you've had a Pac-Man frog like, and you've seen them blink, it wasn't like that kind of closed, it was more of like fully white, um, one little tiny little black dot where their pupil was kind of closed. <laughs> and um, so then I was like, oh, okay, well that's odd. So then I decided to, Go in, like normally if I like kind of like, put my finger near him or my hand near him, he'll kind of like move a little bit. So then I put my hand, um, my finger kind of near his like his butt area to see if he's, he would kind of like jump out a little bit, and he didn't. He he was kind of floppy, and so I was like, oh no, shit! Like what happened? Like what's what's happening? So then I I picked him up. Take a closer look. Look at his eyes. Like I said, they were they're closed. Um, he was moving. Didn't look like he was breathing at all. So I call my boyfriend. and I'm like, I think Chomp's dead. And so then when he got home, we kind of took a little closer look. Um, we put him into his his water dish a little bit, and then we decided no, that we should, we should probably just move him to where over to closer to the heat in case he's decided to hibernate because I heard we, we read that frogs will kind of act like they're dead or pretend that they're dead but they're actually hibernating or ready getting ready to shed so we decided to leave him overnight in the warm spot and then so then when I came down this morning to spray all the reptiles so I'll spray chomp because across the gecko and McMillian um, I noticed that Chomp's eyes were sunken in. So they were closed, but the, the, the tops of his eyes were kind of like peaks a bit were sunken in. So, and he still had, have, hasn't moved from that spot. And then he kind of started to get some coloration on his sides of his belly, which to me indicated that, yeah, he's, he's for sure dead. Um, and then I was looking it up today, and I think it's on my laptop here. Um, the only thing, like I, like for a disclaimer, he was like I said, completely healthy. Like we didn't, he didn't show any signs of illness before he ended up passing. So that's another reason why I was a little confused to what happened. We weren't too sure if he was hibernating or anything. Um, so then I looked it up today, and one of the things that kind of like reminded me of the characteristics of where he is right now um, was water enema syndrome. I think I'm saying that right, but it says that the frog will start to swell up because of water retention, in, and then in very extreme cases, the frog may feel like a squishy water bag, which when I held him last night, his sides were quite squishy, but his spine was hard. Um, so it, should, it said it could be caused by damaged lymph 
um, heart um, and kidney disease because they're common cases of water at uh, edema. And then to date, there, he said there's no information um, as to prevention for this disorder. Um, and you can, you can limit the amount of water that is available, you, or, you, or a vet can release retained water from an incision um, at the swell sites. Um, but then he said at the end, the end result can be the same. So our biggest thing was probably, I, I, I want to say it's that. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I don't think Tyler and I were going to go to vet to get a biopsy um, just because it's, I don't know, it, I don't want to have to pay 100 bucks just to fi figure out if my frog has exactly what I said here. Um, it, it, also, it could have been impaction too, like I'm not, I guess, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, he could have ate, um, <laughs> hi Apollo, he could have ate like some dirt when he was eating his crickets um, and he could have just couldn't pass it. I'm not like too sure, like I, like I said, I didn't notice him being less active. He was still eating, he was still like pretty active in the night and it, he literally just passed last night. So yeah. Um, with that being said, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get another Pac-Man frog. We might. Uh, it, we're, I'm not too sure. I'm not in any rush to get <laughs> a new reptile anytime soon right now. Um, we're, Tyler and I were thinking of giving him a, a nice little burial. Um, we have a, a little man-made uh, pond kind of like a little swamp area near our house. So I think we're gonna go to the pond and we're gonna bury him there because I think he would have liked being by the water instead of in our backyard. But yeah, so I just wanted to give everyone a little update of what happened um, and that I probably won't be doing any recent video or like new videos on pack for frogs just because of how Chomp passed. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you updated on what's to come in the future. <laughs> Anyways, well, thank you for watching this video. I, I hope you enjoyed it um, to the fact that I put out content. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, um, please put them down in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos of my reptiles and um, kind of what I go through with them, um, you can click the subscribe button. I'll be sure to upload every once in a while here. I don't really have a set schedule at the moment. Um, I try to kind of upload videos like every um, few weeks here. So yeah, anyways, thank you and uh, until next time. Oh.